You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Root your hands for Black and White Sports. Let's talk about Tommy Laren. Of course, Tommy has got a program on OutKick and is a Fox News contributor. This is not the first time that she has pointed something out involving what at times has been a very anti-American Brittany Griner. And um, let's just say that she is a uh, tying Zelensky and Griner together. Now, Zelensky was over here lobbying for more money, it seems, earlier in the week. And, uh, oh, my God, everybody was fawning over themselves trying to get a photo op with a guy that's supposed to be the president of Ukraine slash isn't he a comedian and an actor too? Just wondering, is this on? Yeah, uh, you know what I'm talking about here. Uh, so, uh, Tommy Laren decides to uh, take a shot at Brittany Griner uh, and Zelensky and uh, put a little nice ribbon and bow on uh, tying the two together. Now, of course, Brittany Griner was locked over over in Russia for. Uh, smuggling vape pens uh, with uh, cannabis oil in them over into Russia. She got busted and she got um, she got detained. But Biden named her wrongfully detained. Well, she's home because we traded uh, pretty much the most despicable human being on the planet. Uh, I wonder, did Zelensky sit down with Joe Biden and did he lean in and was like, okay, so I'm at war with Russia could you tell me why you sent the Michael Jordan of arms dealers back to Russia so he could get them weapons to fight me? I I'm just wondering, did Zelensky ask that question while he was here? And if he did, do we have that on camera? Does Peter Ducey have that? Let's get to this. And yeah, I'm being a total smart ass, but you, you know what I'm saying here is true. Yeah, essentially sports. Maybe... He can pose with Brittany Griner. Ukraine President Zelensky blasted by outspoken American commentator. The president of Ukraine, Vladimir Zelensky, recently made a historic trip to Washington. And guys, by now we've all seen him uh, posing, talking, speaking with uh, the Joker herself, Nancy Pelosi, behind him. Ukraine has been at war with Russia for more than 300 days now. During his speech, Zelensky requested more help to fight Russia. Of course he did. The president of Ukraine making the potentially risky trip to the U.S. an equally risky return trip home surprised many. Yeah, surprised us since you want to piss Putin off and put us in a WW3 situation. But you let this guy over here anyway, didn't you, Biden? However, many believe President Joe Biden would not have invited Zelensky without reason. However, not everybody is convinced Zelensky's visit to the country, specifically Tommy Lahren, American conservative political commentator. Lahren implied Zelensky is using the U.S. for his own gain, just like Brittany Griner did. The Russian government recently released Griner in exchange for arms dealer Victor Bout. She spent more than 10 months in a Russian prison Enduring brutal conditions. Her release was celebrated by many fans and celebrities. However, many were unhappy with the release of the dangerous arms dealer like Bout. They feared the merchant of death could harm the country again. Many felt giving up an arms dealer for a basketball player just because she was famous was not a fair deal. I think that is certainly a valid question to present. Don't you guys? I do. Apparently, Tommy Laren thinks Griner used the U.S. government for her gain. And then he called, she called out Zelensky. I wonder if Zelensky will be doing any magazine cover shoots while he's in the U.S. Maybe he can pose with Brittany Griner, since they both know how to work over Americans for their own gain. Woo! Leave it to Tommy Laren to pull no punches. Ah, they both took advantage of us. That's interesting. Laren also took a swipe at Zelensky for his Vogue photo shoot with his wife, Olena Z Zelenska? Z Zelenska? 
Why has she got a different last name? The president of the Ukraine's Vogue photo shoot with the first lady of the Ukraine in July amidst the war with Russia received a lot of backlash. And Laren made sure everybody was reminded about it. Wait a minute. You're at war, so you posed for a Vogue photo shoot? You see why people start asking questions. You know, I mean, it seems valid. The initial reports of, look, war should not make you a rock star. I'm just keeping it real. The initial reports of a prisoner swap between the two countries for Brittany Griner came out a few months ago. The report suggested Victor Bout could be released in exchange for Griner. Tommy Laird slammed the idea immediately on Twitter. And then when the prisoner swap deal finally happened, the W uh, the 2014 WNBA champion was released. Laren gave her verdict, quote, I wonder if Brittany Griner will sing and stand for the national anthem now that the United States has compromised national security to free her. Hashtag Brittany Griner. I, I mean, look, uh, it's all valid points from, from Tommy Laren. Yeah, that that is interesting. I mean, we've asked that question before. Like, you wonder how Zelensky feels about the fact that uh, Bout just got sent back to Russia when he's at war with Russia. It never made a lot of sense to me. but And now we've got the president of the Ukraine over here while he's still technically at war with Russia. He comes here. Our country is, I mean, is Putin okay with him just hanging out over here? And, and no call for WW3 over that. Not going to piss him off? Does anybody care? I think a certain portion of America, common sense Americans, very much wonder that exact question. Should we be concerned that he just made a trip over here and, you know, Putin might not like that very much. You know, we don't exactly have Trump in office anymore to check Putin's ass. If he gets out of hand, which is exactly what would have happened. And Brittany Griner wouldn't have been stuck in Russia to begin with. Yeah, I said all that. It is what it is. Tell me what you think, black and white sports supporters. Did Brittany Griner pose with Zelensky? Did they talk about Brittany Griner, Biden, and Zelensky? I'd love to know that. Did he come up in conver- Did she come up in conversation? Hmm. Mm. peace i'm out till next time black and white network supporters make sure you go over and check out the black and white network merchandise store 25 percent off usa first 25 percent off usa first go now thanks for watching the show be sure to like comment and subscribe be sure to tune in next time on black and white sports